What's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo, and I am here in Barcelona at Samsung's party, and it is a party. The Samsung throws a good event. It was a little subdued last year at Mobile World Congress. I wasn't there, but they had like acrobats and flying dancers and all this crazy stuff. Tonight it was a little mellower. They had a uh, an hour-long presentation. People on stage with like multimedia behind them, this huge you know projection screen, and they had an orchestra that was half a string section and half people playing music apps on their Galaxy Tab and Galaxy S devices, which is pretty cool. Um, but now it's all cocktails and tapas and devices. They launched two devices tonight, the Galaxy S2 smartphone and the Galaxy Tab 10.1 bunny ear. What's going on? The uh, Galaxy Tab 10.1 uh, tablet computer. Android 3.0, dual core processor, NVIDIA Tegra 2, in fact, 1080p video capture and playback, 8 megapixel camera on the back, 2 megapixel camera on the front, a massive battery, all kinds of stuff. Enough of me talking, let's go hands on. Who was that guy with the bunny ears, anyway? All right, so here it is, the Galaxy Tab 10.1. Uh, like we said in the intro, it's a honeycomb-based device. Uh, backside shot here, 8 megapixel camera with a flash. You can see it's got the With Google branding. Nice pebbled uh, texture on the back. Um, on the front, we've got a front camera, 2 megapixel. Uh, that's basically it. The rest of the controls on the front are all on the screen. They're not you know, capacitive touch or anything like that. On one spine, you've got a rocker switch. On the top here, you've got a headphone jack, a power switch, and what looks like uh, dual speaker grills. Nothing on this side except a little device that prevents me from running home with it. And on the bottom, a SIM card slot and uh, also two speaker grills. Nothing said about availability, pricing, or uh, time-wise for you know any of the markets, US, inter uh, Europe, anywhere else in the world. Uh, but here's the phone. Here's the phone. Here's the tablet. And um, basically, it's stock Android. It's not, you know, Samsung uh, does a lot of customization on their Android-based phones with TouchWiz and, and all that stuff. But I think it's just stock Android here, 3.0. It's a 10.1-inch display, 1200 by 1280 by 800, uh, full, eight, full HD 1080p video recording and playback powered by that Tegra 2 chipset inside, the, what Samsung's calling the uh, dual-core application processor. And 10.9 uh, millimeters thin, 599 grams. You know, just to, I don't have an iPad here. There was a gentleman earlier comparing it to an iPad, and it definitely is thicker. Uh, and you can see it kind of, well, this angle's better. You can see the, the profile of the device bows out in the middle. And if you look at the back, it's almost like a little uh, uh, recession in the center there. So I think on the back, it's got the uh, thicker on the sides to make it easier to hold, because it does kind of naturally give the fingers something to leverage against over there. But then a little thicker in the middle there, I'm, I'm speculating that's because of the battery. I don't know, because it's got a pretty hefty battery from what they said. Uh, at any rate, this is Honeycomb. You've seen this uh, before. If you haven't, you should go check out the video I did of Honeycomb running on the Barnes & Noble Nook Color. Um, but this is real Honeycomb. This is, this is the actual build. And, you know, it's basically another Android skin. I mean, there's a lot going on underneath. GPU acceleration, uh, dual core acceleration, all that kind of stuff. But in terms of the UI, it's another take on, you know, an Android skin with the uh, a little laggy here. Hello. There we go. Um, you've got your uh, your multiple home screens. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe this prototype had a little too much Rioja before coming out to the party because it, it's definitely lagging a little bit. We'll go to settings, and um, so you've got your settings screen. You've got your multiple home screens that you can customize with widgets and app shortcuts and you know photo frames and all that stuff. Uh, the three three icon system here for navigating home, back, and then you can get your running apps. Uh, we'll go to books here. And it's got you know the e-reader built in. Obviously, going to be video heavy uh, with the 1080p recording and playback and all that stuff. We'll see if we can actually fire up the camera. No, we'll try it in uh, portrait mode. There we go. So there you go, front-facing camera. That's me. What's up? And then you've got other controls here. So if we turn the, the camera the other way, we can flip around to the back camera, which is going to get nothing because it's pointed down at the table. 
but I can lift it up. And you can see all the other people trying to get their hands on the tab, so I should wrap this up. Uh, you've got all your controls. You've got you know the new Honeycomb 3.0 Android camera interface. Uh, we'll go to record mode, video record mode, I should say. And you got your video quality settings, you've got a YouTube setting, which is kind of neat. And again, it'll do full 1080p. So there you go, kind of a first hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy Tab. You know, to call it an iPad competitor is silly because it's a tablet. There are lots of tablets. iPad was here first, so, you know, well, not first, but it was the first to catch the public's imagination. So everything's going to be called an iPad tab, uh, competitor. Now we're scrolling a little more easily. There you go. But, you know, you've got the power of Android 3.0, all the optimizations, and it's a nice big form factor. I love the front-facing camera. Video Chat is a killer app for tablets, I think. And then Tegra powering the full 1080p experience record and playback. Very cool. It's the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 live from Samsung's Unpacked event in Barcelona.